I had an opposite take from Michelle on this. Um, I didn't know where the idea came from, but for me, I immediately was afraid of these children, and the film was called Spooked. Big baby eyes in sweet young faces, pupils dilated, irises ice cold blue, snares in their unblinking stares. No hint of a smile, no reaching out, you're repelled, attracted, afraid. You take a step back, their gaze doesn't waver. Midwich cuckoos who vow telepathy make men take their own lives. You wonder where that leaves you. Sorry, I forgot to mention that this immediately brought in mind the Midwich Cuckoos, where the children take over this village. Um, and that's very good. challenging, um, scary, but challenging in, uh, to, to, to someone who might want to consider creating beings who live such a short and terrifying life. So it's called Two Children Waiting. By the look in their bulging eyes, you can tell they are numbed, hypnotised by what will come unmoving, unsurprised. As you stare, sometimes it is unclear whether it is they or us who have the most to fear. We may be grateful these two children of the chamber live only as paint on canvas. Should we invest some breath in them, and like cruel gods insist that they be born, if only retrospectively, knowing that life for them is brief and cruel, and ends at five or six after nothing but torments of hunger and cold. Is this the cause of our unease, looking at these imagined boys in threadbare uniforms, the thought that by our thoughts we could condemn those who might not have been to so joyless a blink of time that they would not for a second have prayed to have stayed any longer in this world that we have made? The terrible thought that cannot be unthought, that it's best they never lived. Mm -hmm.